Hello everybody and welcome back to Spiritfarer, where we last left off we found out Giovanni is a freaking cheater, but I'm not surprised. He just kind of had that air about him. And now he's not even sorry. He hurt Astrid so bad she locked herself in her room and she won't come out. And he's not even going to apologize because he's a big fat jerk. <laughs> but anyway, I don't exactly know what we're going to do today. Of course, we're going to follow our follow our spirits quest and see what they want. But I think we're also going to explore. We have a few spots from treasure maps that we can go look at. What the heck? Failed experiment. Okay. Oh, copper wire? Metal rope. Ah! Lime powder. Okay. How do we get silk? Um, treasure map. There was someone asking for help, and I think I just completely forgot to help them. Um... Okay, where is it? They want- oh, yep, yeah, okay. 58, negative 11. There we go, that's where we're going. Build orchard. Another one. The food. You need this. Stanley loves some french fries, yes. And then give you the noodle soup for Astrid. Okay, now we just need the Jesus. We need the tuna for Mr. Bird. Alright, so in this one, we have mulberry seeds for silk fiber. And let's pair olive pair olive um, um hmm, hmm. let's go for a pair all right who what do you want look peanut i think i've overstayed my welcome on this ship i know i know i've only just joined you guys recently mm -hmm. but i don't exactly have any say in this you know i wish i had mm -hmm. don't worry i had a jolly good time no regrets I did love that lounge. Mm -hmm. Bit too much, maybe? I think you might need to restock. Okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. You know the way, Bambina. Oh. Oh, we're taking him to the Everdoor. No offense. This might sound mean, but I don't think I'm gonna miss him. All he did was make us run around and then hurt Astrid's feelings, and that's not okay. And sometimes, when you're dealing with toxic people, the only thing you can really do is cut them out. I mean, I guess it's mature that he came to this conclusion himself, but he still didn't exactly admit why he's at fault. If you know what I mean. Who's looking for help? Help! Help! Oh, it's you! What's up? We're here to help. My raft broke and I lost all my equipment. I was going to see my sister on... Wait. I don't even remember where. She lives in a nice little town full of people. There's rice patches, a shop, a big monument. Oh, please, you need to help me. My sister would be able to draw you a map or something. Hurry, please! Okay, um, let's see. Um, drift... Furogawa. Okay, we need to find his sister in Furogawa. Well, here we are, Bambina. You know, I'm not exactly thrilled, but I've got to go. Ready to bring me there? Yep. think it's the best decision. Okay, let's go. You know what, Peanut? The second I saw you, I knew you were someone special. Someone who, no matter what happened, would always be there to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. I could see that in people. See the cracks in them. It's easy. Light shines through. Mm -hmm. I guess that's why I fell in love with Astrid. Yeah, and you cheated on her. Mm -hmm. Ha! Astrid. She was the toughest nut you could imagine. 
but she had such an intense light and insane inside, shining through warmth and fire too. Mm -hmm. Her laugh made mountains tremble, and everyone was happy when she was around. I was happy. Mm -hmm. I've always spent so much time making sure other people were having fun, making jokes and being the funny guy, but they only came for her, really. Mm -hmm. Her majestic, raw, radiant soul. But you, Bambina, you've got that look in your eyes. That soft, killer vibe. I saw so much of me in you. Mm -hmm. Your bravery, your sense of humor, your gusto. I know it's hard doing what you do. Accompanying people towards their end. Mm -hmm. Takes more than guts to do something like that. It takes a soul of steel. But hey, good news. Mm -hmm. You've got it. You've got it, Bambina. Even if you doubt it, even if you don't have faith in yourself, mm -hmm. I have so much faith in you. So much faith in your strength. Mm -hmm. I believe in you, Peanut. Now and forever. And hey, if you need anything, I won't be far. Mm -hmm. I'll be right here, standing right beside you. I'll always be there. Always. I know I shouldn't leave so soon. Believe me, I wish I could have stayed longer. Right here with you, Peanut. Mm -hmm. Promise me you'll take care of Astrid when I'm gone, okay? And don't miss me too much, will you? I've never deserved you anyway. Mm -hmm. But I've loved you, and that won't stop, even if I'm not around anymore. The ones who really love you never really leave, you know? Mm -hmm. Life is amazing, isn't it? A whirlwind, a tremor, a flickering flame. I've tried so much to live it to the fullest. Mm -hmm. I regret nothing. Nothing but leaving Astrid. Nothing but leaving you, Stella. Mm -hmm. I wish I could have seen you grow up even more, but here we are. All right, pour yourself one for me, will you? Ciao, Bella. Uh Oh, oh no, we're back here. Are we going to see the owl thing again? Hmm. So this is Stella. That's what the owl said last time. Right? What's he trying to show us? You're back! Already? Oh, whoa! Okay, I guess not. What next? Oh! Is that summer? Wait, she was she, she was a nurse. Wait, so they were her patients? Oh, is that who's that? Is that Giovanni, or is that? Bruce? I'm unsure. What does Owl have to say to us? Oh, there's more. Oh, not if I fall. You're back. 
And so you return, spirit fairer, humbled by your confusion, your disarray, your fear. Time and again you call me by my name, whisper echoes of my essence to those too afraid to hear it. As you stand before me, hesitation floods your heart. You seek to tame, but you only serve. And now you truly see me. See what I inflict upon those you love. All these paths you've crossed, these souls you've embraced, their lives intertwined with yours, their faces etched upon your memory. You've opened your heart to the suffering of others, and in return, their spark warms your heart and shapes your fate. Every spirit a reminder, every spirit a goodbye. What do they teach you? Their struggles, their drama, their memories, your memories? Are they saying their farewells, or are you saying yours? But you are not ready yet, Stella, and these souls still need you. Carry on your task, Spiritfarer. Soon your time will come, and we will meet again, for the last time. Oh, I don't want to meet again! Yes, the, the achievement, second encounter! It says, it's a, it's a, a step of, a step of, a, that, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Oh, well, we got his flower. I don't know how they feel. I mean, I mean, you know, I'm bewildered by the giant scary owl, but when it comes to Giovanni, I don't know how to feel. He did a bad thing, and he hurt Astrid, and he never really seemed to understand that he was in the wrong, or at least acknowledge he was in the wrong until the very end. Maybe I'm missing something more, but that's just what I see. If we could get a tuna. Because we need one for Gustav's dish. Oh. Oh. Uh, yeah, come on. I have not heard this music before. Pull. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Pull. We could do it! No, 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 no! Pull! <laughs> tuna, tuna, tuna! Pull! Ooh, this is tough! Tuna! Alright, we've got two quests. We also got a tuna, and we got to listen to some boss music. Oh, here, let's listen to Ashley first. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I... I don't know how I feel. Should I be sad? Mm -hmm. Should I be happy? Angry? That's how I feel, too. I can feel his absence. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's as if something had been fulfilled. Completed. You know what I mean, Munchkin? Mm -hmm. Am I a bad person? Is it okay for someone to feel liberated under such circumstances? I'm sorry, Stella. I don't want to sound ungrateful. Mm -hmm. I'm still a bit shaken. But not lost. At least you're here with me. Mm -hmm. That's the most important. My heart is stronger because you're still in it. Oh, okay. Okay, we got a request called the Second Wind. Let Astrid live her best life. Okay, we'll give her some space. She seems to be dealing with a lot, just like the thing said. Okay, what's up? Me and my brother, we're practical people. We ask for something and you deliver it. Simple. But there's something we shouldn't even have to ask for. Do you know what it is? Food. People eat. Usually like thrice a day. We can't leave this boat and go to the deli. Now, it might seem like I'm pissed off here. That's because I am. You don't feed me, sure, okay. But my brother, that just doesn't fly, Scout. Just go and get us some goddamn lobster roll. Lobster roll? Oh, what do you, what's up? I did this drawing for you. A drawing of Gustav, aw. All right, so they want a taste of home. Do I have lobster? How do I get lobster? Uh, hang on. A lot of quests at once. Ooh, maybe we can upgrade now. Ash plank, zinc rock, comet rock. Okay, if we get some ash planks and some zinc ingot, we can travel faster. Yeah. Gather resources, then return. Okay, I can get that. First, let's see, what do we need to make this lobster roll? Lobster roll. 
Lobster and flour. I don't know where to get lobster. <laughs> Tuna and a savory veggie. Um, I'd say a savory veggie is a carrot. And then we get the tuna. Wait, do they just need to be in order? Hang on, let's just make, just to make sure. Okay, tuna. And a savory veggie. There we go. Friends in the family. To be honest, I just don't want to take orders from the cat. Stella, you're running around all the time. You've been doing all these errands for everyone. Putting others in front of your needs? When I look at you, I see a little bit of myself. Did you know that? But I want to let you in on a little secret. You might love to run around and help all these people, but you need to take some time for yourself. Do something that's only for you. That's something I never got to do myself. I suppose that's why I'm here. In this world, on this boat. That's why Viv and my daughters don't have me around anymore. Well, at least we got each other, Sprout. Oh, so this is, is this like a purgatory? Please be tuna taiyaki, tuna taiyaki. No! Huh? But... Oh, the carrot doesn't count as a savory veggie. Oh, hang on. Let me get another tuna. Oh, it's gone! Oh no! You made so many mistakes! I wouldn't have made that many. My dad would say, don't worry about it too much. That would really make my mom mad. Oh, Buddy! Stanley, you're breaking my heart, man! Oh dear. Lost at sea? He always does this. He always has an excuse. Last year it was a new girlfriend. This year was bad before it was the bad economy. How can I be sure you're not the same strange person he paid to invent a story? He might be relaxing in the sun somewhere. Here, give him this, if you're telling the truth. Hopefully that snaps him out of it. A letter from your sister. I kinda wanna read it. I don't know if that'd be a good idea, though. I don't know why, but I think about the past a lot these days. All those images come back to me, make, waking me up at night. I think of all the horrors during the war, mm -hmm. all my friends who died, the joy at the liberation. Mm -hmm. And of course, I think of all those children we hid in the basement of the factory, Granny Sue and I. I was so young, only a few years older than them. 16, 17 maybe? Mm -hmm. I didn't realize what I was doing. All the implications, all the risks, mm -hmm. but I was young and I didn't see any other option. I couldn't leave those kids out there. They were so afraid, mm -hmm. so small, and we knew most of their parents. Mm -hmm. None of them came back. Oh. Mm. Oh. Diamond! Big hat! Okay, I need a fucking hodge? Stanley, watch your language! You know! A fucking hodge! What? You don't know what that is? How could it be? It's super popular and normal. Everyone has them lying around in the kitchen. Everyone loves them. Oh, come on. Are you making fun of me? I don't like it when people make fun of me. Look, I've been dreaming about it. I need a fucking hodge. Uh, let me just give him random stuff. Ooh. What's that? Silk! Yes! Sauerkraut. Now we can make some silk fabric. Which we need for two different recipes, actually. 
We need it for Bruce and Nikki and um, the owl guy. Whoa! That's fast! Oh! Okay. Oh no, wait, I'm not done yet. Can it get faster than that? I shouldn't ask that. Jesus! Oh! Oh! This- is this an egg, you say? That doesn't sound right. That's not an egg. That's a fucking hodge. That's what my mom calls them anyways. Anytime I would walk in the kitchen during breakfast and start playing, she would say, Stanley, don't touch that fucking hodge. She was bad sometimes. It wasn't my fault, I swear. Oh, Big hat. I'm bored. Stanley's bored. What do you have to do around here? Do you have anything dangerous? No. Something that might cause explosions. You are an adult, right? If I'm with an adult, I can do dangerous things. I say we try to add some cool and possibly dangerous experiments. Oh yeah! Come on! Uh, what? Talk to Stanley. Oh no, because I have the cellar. Oh, well, we're going to worry about that next time. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. Remember to take care of yourselves, and I will see you next time.